Hi friends, welcome to Fixation Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about directory not found exception in C sharp. So in my last video, I had explained to you about the file not found exception in C sharp. So the file not found exception as well as the directory not found exceptions are almost similar kind of things in C sharp. So in case of the file not found exceptions, it will particularly check for that particular file whether it is exist or not and if it is not then it will straightforward you through even file not found exceptions but in case of the directory not found exceptions first it will check for the particular directory whether the particular directory is present or not and if the directory is not present then it will straightforward to even directory not found exceptions so the priority of file not found and directory not found is the first priority is the directory not found because the first it will check for the directory and then second it will go for the file and also the name implies the directory not found exceptions which means that when the directory is not found then automatically this exception arises and let me move to visual studio and i am going to show you some of the examples and at last i will show you how we can handle or avoid such type of exception so now i am inside the visual studio so here you can see i have created a variable name as file name and which is of type string and here you can see I have uh, choose the D drive and the test one folder and the my file name is file1.txt but here you can see the D drive is present in my system but the test one folder which is not present in my system so if I am going to do any kind of operation like read or write then it will straight forward me throw you in direct not found exception so let's see how we can uh, see that error So, so my coding is done. Uh, let me put a breakpoint and quickly run the application. So if I press F10, let me press again F10. Now you can see here the uh, directory not found exception arises. So the additional information is like could not find a part of the path. The, the path is D drive test one folder because because you can see here the D drive is present in my system but the test one folder is not present in my system and due to that reason this directory not found exception arises. All right. So uh, let's see in, in place of D drive I can give S drive also. So this S drive is also not present in my system and if I run it again then also it will show you an directory not found exception yeah so so you can see the additional information could not find a part of the path s drive test one folder the same thing so now the next thing is how we can handle or uh, avoid this type of errors so the thing is simple we need to use directory dot exist and here we just need to pass the file name so now if I run the application and debug it uh, line by line then you can see uh, there is no such type of errors because because when it is executing this if condition then it just written uh, false because this directory is not found in the system and because of that this if condition not executed and it straightforward uh, exited from this curly bracket and straightforward it will hit to this uh, main method curly bracket so this is how you can uh, handle this uh, directory not found exceptions but in case of our file not found exceptions we just use file dot exist but as it is a directory not found exceptions so we just need to use this directory dot exist and just i just want to show you one more thing like uh, here let me remove this dot and if i can add here here you can see uh, like file dot read all text i am using the method but here you can see the exceptions what are the exceptions like the 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 exception is that system dot io dot directory not found exceptions which we just discussed now. So this is all about our uh, today's video. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to our channel.